Okay, so we should be right on our way. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the August edition of the Africa Share and Discuss webinar series. My name is Shola Olateju, and I'm super excited to bring this another edition of the web, monthly webinar to you. Today, we have an interesting conversation that I'm particularly excited about from a particularly exciting person. And um, I, I'm sure you'd, you'd enjoy it as well. But before we introduce our speaker for today, we'll just go through a couple of the housekeeping rules. As always, um, the, this, this webinar is brought to you by the FET Interactive Simulation Project at the University of Colorado Boulder, which creates free interactive math and science simulations. The simulations are based on extensive education research and engage students through intuitive game-like environment where students learn through exploration and discovery. The project was founded in 2002 by the Nobel laureate Carl Wyman. The goal of the project is to improve the teaching and learning of math and science, and the webinar is one of the many ways in which we support that objective, where we bring in seasoned researchers and practitioners around math and science on the African continent to share their best practices, recommendations, and things, empirical results from their research that they've seen effective so that, of course, educators in classroom can learn and then take that to their classroom to improve their practice. The webinar holds every third Wednesdays of the month, and this is the outline based on the read path of the continent that you're based. This session is recorded as always, but you can catch up with this recording as well as past recording if you visit the playlist on YouTube. You can search for FET Interactive Scenes on Facebook, and you find the Africa Share and Discuss webinar playlist, you find the list of this session as well as all of the past recordings. So I encourage you to catch up on the many past amazing conversations that have held. Also, also, one important point is the time for questions. I know many of us would have questions while this is ongoing, but once the presentation starts or when our speaker today starts speaking, we will not be able to entertain questions while the presentation is on but we've saved sufficient time towards the end of the meeting to take all of your questions. So please feel free to use the question and answer feature here in Zoom to drop your questions. Please drop them while the meeting is ongoing so that you don't lose that thought. And once we open up for questions, we'll take all of those questions. And if you're joining at the moment, I'm not sure the Zoom is on, but yes, if you're joining via other channels as well, please feel free to drop in the chat. And a member of the team will be listening out and picking out all the questions to pass to our speaker. This conversation really come really fast. And at times, there's so much to cover. So we invite you to join the community on Facebook, um, which is the FET Educator Africa group. Just go to Facebook and search for FET Educator Africa, where you find, of course, myself and other members of the team, as well as amazing users of FET interactive teams on the continent. You can get updates, get questions, answers, or just stay up to date on, ev of, on events and happenings in and around the continent as it regards math and science and FET simulations. So today, I won't want to hold you up for much longer. Like I said, we have an amazing speaker and an amazing conversation today as well none other than Professor Ale Diom from the University of Che, Sheikh and Anta Diop in Dakar, Senegal. He's the head of the Techno-Pedagogical Office and, and also a FET trusted translator. He's been working and supporting the translation into the native language in, in Senegal, Wolof. And of course, that interaction is ongoing. But today, um, the university also has been integrated and or is using FETSIM in interesting ways. So today we're going to look at the strategies that they've adopted for the effective use at the university to accelerate, of course, the scientific and the numeric approach. So I'll hand it over now to our speaker as, of course, he introduces himself and his university and then, of course, takes us through a lot of their, some of their strategies. And at the end, we'll take all the questions you might, you might have. Thank you so much, Professor Ali, for joining us today. I'll hand the mic over to you now. 
thank you very much um, uh, uh, Arashala. Thank you to all the FET simulator community to give me the opportunity uh, to have a speech and uh, give an insight into our different strategies for effective scientific and numerical approach uh, in our university in Senegal. My name is, uh, uh, and thank you for all the participants also, it's very important. Uh, they, give the they give us the possibility to share our experience um, in physics and uh, particularly in pedagogy uh, and uh, uh, how to uh, extend and evaluate in uh, our different networks, particularly FET uh, simulation network. So um, my name is Dr. Ali Jum. I'm an associate professor in physics. And so uh, uh, the head of technopedagogical office in the educational office direction of the University of Shia Antajob in Dhaka, West Africa. And um, we're gonna give uh, insight into new strategies, uh, just inside I say, um, uh, for effective scientific and numerical approaches uh, in our university. As you see, uh, the numerical basic uh, uh, approaches is very important uh, to overcome all the problems you get to handle uh, um, student uh, massifications. This is why let's gonna share my presentations. Yeah, first of all, um, uh, as you see in the, on the screen, As you see on the screen, uh, in the left, uh, uh, the left photo, uh, describe uh, the main entrance we renovated uh, of our universities, Sheikh Antajop, with the mortar, and um, the light, the right uh, photo. So the strategy position of our countries. Uh, so. Okay, so uh, we just uh, uh, present uh, our presentation of the uh, in a three part. The first part is just to give a story and to present our university in general. And the second part uh, is devoted to the vision, the numerical vision, or the digital technologies uh, uh, use in our university and the last part will be just a tutorial to show how uh, fed simulations are used in our university uh, are and in, uh, embedded or integrated in uh, our research uh, for students and teachers uh, uh, the university of dhaka uh, was funded in february 24 19 uh, uh, 57 uh, and its name was University of Dakar because it was at uh, African University and was inaugurated uh, in December 9, 1959. And it got uh, inaugurate a long tradition of education and research. So um, in 1908, uh, the first uh, African School of Medicine was created. Uh, then in 1933, the French Institute of Black Africa, IFON. Uh, uh, then it was uh, uh, renamed Sheikh Hanta Job University of Dakar in 1987. So the point of of uh, of this university, Sheikh Anta Job, uh, it was a researcher, a well-known researcher, of course, who uh, installed 
the laboratory of carbon uh, 14 uh, just to, uh, he developed the new uh, method of datations uh, of carbon uh, 14s he was an anthropologist a historian and a physicist uh, so he was a significant figure in senegalese histories uh, known for his work on uh, the origins of humanity and pre-colonial uh, African cultures. Uh, he uh, died in 1986. As you see in the left photo, you see the, the laboratory of uh, 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 Carbon-14 uh, uh, installed in uh, the friend uh, uh, African institutes uh, in uh, Dakar. So our missions, the mission of the University of Yerdegop is uh, a public high education uh, institute which provides uh, education and prepare students for the workforce uh, to contribute uh, to scientific research and technological uh, innovations uh, also to, to promote the application of research results to support the community service. And we will uh, come to on this uh, aspect of uh, support, the community support uh, service. Uh, then uh, to promote and foster African uh, cultures, uh, values, and uh, enter university cooperation. So why we're gonna see in our last uh, slide uh, how we develop uh, cooperation with in national and international uh, uh, at this point. And our value is Lix Maya Lex, uh, which means uh, the light is our light, our love. Uh, this is just uh, the motto uh, you see in the first slide uh, I show uh, you. So our vision, uh, is to be a high performing university which is dedicated to the economic, social, and cultural development of uh, Senegal and Africa in general. Uh, so, uh, also to remind deeply roots so that uh, uh, it's uh, just meaning that value systems uh, that from the foundation of the Senegalese nations, uh, while being open to the solidarity and collaboration with the rest of the world. Uh, this is very important because uh, we're going to see uh, the different nationalities, uh, how many nationalities uh, we can find in our university. So uh, we have uh, 43 institutions, and this uh, number is not, uh, is uh, will evaluate uh, next year's. Uh, and among uh, the 43 institutions, we have six faculties, uh, eight higher school, seven uh, doctorate school, and uh, 20 institute of university. So uh, we enter to the, the faculties here, and in the red color, you will see that uh, where STEM are used, uh, particularly uh, in our university. So. Uh, the STEM are used in uh, uh, the Faculty of, of, of Science and Techniques, the Faculty of Medicine, they use the STEM, uh, the Economic Science and Management uh, Faculty, and so uh, the Education and Training Science and Technologies uh, Faculties. Uh, the N, you can find the others, uh, Faculty of uh, Letter and Legal Policy Science. So that uh, for the high school, uh, where the STEM are particularly used, uh, we can find uh, the Polytechnic High School, uh, which is an engineering uh, school, uh, which develops so many activities uh, uh, in uh, the engineering. Uh, we have also the National, the national uh, High School of Mina and Ge Geology, which is very interesting. Uh, with the discovery of our new resources uh, and the high school of applied economics 
and uh, the National High Institute of Popular Education and Spoky uh, uh, we have uh, also. So so we have the orders uh, 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 high school, but uh, the STEM are used to, the, the, the level of STEM used is, is uh, very, very low. So um, in this slide, we just saw uh, how it, it's very important in our universities, uh, the research and development. Uh, uh, it's a, uh, uh, take a larger part of our activities. So uh, if you see uh, more than uh, 6,000 PhD were defended in 10 years, in the last 10 years, uh, and the majority uh, focuses on science and technologies and, and, and health science, uh, where STEM are used uh, uh, in researchers. This is just to give us uh, the possibilities uh, to benefit uh, federal researchers and development activities. So why it's a very important to have uh, a look uh, the, to the importance of, of, uh, of uh, our research activities. And the, the graph show uh, the different faculties. If you see the faculty of, uh, of the medicine and uh, uh, economic science and science and technologies, you, we have the number of uh, uh, most of the PhD uh, which developing uh, in, in this, uh, this time. So, uh, for the educational resources, uh, we have uh, also a big central uh, uh, libra uh, library. Uh, you see the the photo in the in the right uh, side. Uh, this is our big central who have uh, these stories, uh, where we can find more than fifteen thousand uh, hundred thousand. Uh, books and scientific publication, which is uh, insufficient regarding to the number of users, students and, uh, and, uh, and the staff, uh, teachers uh, and uh, others. So we have also uh, uh, 16 library in, the di in different faculties, science and uh, medicine, uh, who, can find, who can find resources uh, there. So, just to, to, to show uh, the problematic uh, of, uh, of uh, our student populations. Uh, and we give, we, we, we're gonna see uh, the number of, uh, of teachers uh, uh, to supervise uh, the student activities, the ratio, if is it citizen or not. So uh, you can't, in UCAT, the issue of a student population in courses is a, rea a reality. Then it presents several challenges for teaching and learning. Uh, it's why the main problem associated with this large group, uh, as well as the impact and potential strategies to mitigate them, are the crowding uh, uh, classroom. Uh, and it's a problem because uh, it's a uh, student uh, will uh, are facing to incident capacity comfort and safety uh, we are also the limited interactions between the teachers and uh, and the student uh, also the quality of teaching and assessment is a problem a real problem uh, to evaluate uh, student and to diversify uh, the skill levels uh, we are also uh, uh, the problem of uh, the third management uh, regarding to the antecedent of uh, of material resources and academic support, and especially student engagement and motivation. Uh, if you have a large group uh, student in in a level, uh, uh, this is a problem to motivate. Uh, student to engage to, to their courses, to, 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 to flow normally their courses. This is why uh, we cannot uh, uh, a level, a high level of risk of a dropout of student. 
is why the, the potential solution is just to turn uh, towards the online and uh, hybrid class uh, classes and try to see if is it possible to have a smaller study groups and training a system. It's very important to train a system and use of educational uh, educational uh, technologies. This is just to, to, to show uh, the ratio between uh, the student in different uh, level and the number of, uh, of formation we have in our university. And so uh, our university um, to be a, a leading academic institution in Africa, uh, provide quality education to over more than 90,000 students. And this is, uh, it's, it's grows up. And from different, uh, uh, for, uh, around 46, uh, and it will evaluate 46 uh, different nationality and of a wide right, uh, range of academic program, around uh, 650, uh, 50, 58. Uh, uh, this is the, the data we get in uh, 2000, uh, 2003. So, just uh, to, 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 to mention that uh, uh, more than 50% uh, of uh, the students are in the STEM. It's, it's, it's why it's very important to, to, summarize, to summarize this point. So uh, uh, in our university, teaching and uh, research staff, uh, if you see uh, in the slide, uh, the repetition of uh, and the percentage of uh, of uh, the professor, the assistant, and the teachers, you will see that uh, it's not sufficient uh, to 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 to, uh, to handle uh, the number of uh, of 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 student. This is why we have a new vision uh, about uh, the digital technologies. Uh, with uh, so. The ambition to leverage the digital uh, technologies for a structural transformation of the university for the benefits of the society. And the vision is formulated as from uh, the last, uh, from this year, 2014, you can become an open, intelligent, and resilient uh, university, a key pillar of uh, digital transformation in the, the service to, to the society. This is our 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 vision so to maintain our position uh, to be the first uh, the first francophone uh, university in africa uh, we have uh, uh, different ambitions uh, so uh, to promote quality uh, research oriented governance uh, to strengthen uh, training focused on employability to develop research and that uh, better meet societal needs and enhance cooperation and uh, international influence. This is the reason to uh, to have partnership and to collaborate with FED uh, in this activity, in this point. So, uh, and we focus on the implementation uh, of digital uh, in our in our training and and learning. So. Uh, based on the vision of uh, of uh, for the digital transformation and uh, uh, the diagnostic analysis of strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and uh, threats, and considering you got vision and values, five strategies axes have been identified. So we have to improve university governance uh, uh, positions. Uh, you got uh, programs. Uh, Enhance significantly uh, our research uh, and innovation in their society and practice through digital uh, technologies uh, to optimize access and disseminations, of course, in digital and implementing a digital communication policy. This is a, 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 a reality. So uh, we just uh, uh, take three uh, strengths and uh, weaknesses uh, here, so the list is uh, is is higher than uh, what we develop here. The first strength is uh, we have 
more than a hundred of teacher, uh, teaching and research staff trained in technopedagogy. It, it's very important. And the functional uh, department dedicated to e learning, you have different strategy and uh, local to, to develop uh, uh, the e learning. And the technological uh, platform for e learning uh, in the different faculty and institutes. Uh, are ever level. So the main weaknesses is absence of resource for hybrid uh, learning implementations, limited pedagogical, technical, and uh, financial support, and also the limited number of experts in technopedagogy. It's very important to have uh, expert in pedagogical to to uh, to solve this this problem. So. Now, why uh, FET simulation uh, is used? FET simulation is used regarding to uh, to the massification of the the student blood group, how to handle uh, and solve this problem, uh, and also to have a, a large graph of a range of 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 resources uh, available for student and and, and the, the, the teachers. And our, uh, we just uh, see here uh, an example of our practical basic numeric tools uh, we develop in our universities, uh, developed by uh, a colleague, Professor Sosenjai, in uh, the physics department in, 19, uh, in, in 2010. Just, we can see, uh, have a look here. This is just uh, about uh, how to, uh, see the evolution of uh, uh, heat transfer in calorimetry. Uh, and as you see, uh, this is uh, one of uh, the simulation uh, he did to allow students to understand how heat transfer is uh, uh, evidenced here. So you can see uh, it's possible uh, to, uh, to 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 see the evolution of the different parameters, the, the temperature, the time of uh, heating, and the extent of uh, uh, the heat. Uh, this is just uh, an example. Uh, we develop it in our uh, in our department. So the main problem is uh, the number of uh, simulation we develop uh, are limited. And we have not uh, uh, enough main uh, equipment to develop all the different uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, simulation we need uh, for students. This is why we use the FEM uh, simulations, which give us uh, a, a, a white. Uh, possibilities uh, as you see here in physics but especially and so uh, uh, this is why we uh, why we use uh, the fed simulation the fed simulation uh, are a white Use in a science education at uh, in our university to enhance uh, student learning and engage in STEM field. So uh, we give us the possibilities uh, uh, of uh, supplement to theoretical courses, uh, concept visualization, virtual experiment, uh, educational resources for uh, teachers, uh, integrate in practical work. So, uh, what is uh, the important, the more important point is to the enhancement of uh, of a practical skills. Uh, because in STEM, it's very important to 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 develop uh, student uh, practical skill. Uh, because in our in our curricula, uh, it's mandatory that uh, student personal work is ranging from thirty to fifteen percent. Of the total cost uh, workload, allowing to students to be independent in their learn for 
each courses. It's why it's very important to give the uh, access to students uh, this kind of resources in uh, in in fat in fat uh, simulation, and uh, fat simulation also uh, give the accessibility and inclusion. It's free access and mental language. It's why it's very important uh, to develop uh, the simulation in our native language. This is our engagement uh, for uh, fat uh, in in fat as a member in in fat translator. This is why. I invite our colleagues uh, to come to join us uh, in order to uh, to to, uh, to achieve our objective uh, to translate a lot of uh, simulates uh, for student uh, benefits. So uh, we just uh, uh, see uh, that in UCAT, uh, its faculty, school, and institute have its own online platform centralized in uh, the IT and information system department. Uh, and the main uh, uh, website of, uh, of the online uh, platform is here. This is our uh, main platform. And I say, I explain that uh, it should if you see each faculty have its own own uh, platform uh, developed uh, devoted to the e-learning uh, programs it's why uh, we can uh, just uh, have a look uh, because the time is over just to have uh, a look uh, to how we use uh, the fed simulations uh, uh, in our in our platform, especially in the faculty of science uh, and techniques, and uh, in physics, uh, uh, especially, uh, we can see that an example uh, the different parts to integrate uh, uh, the same the FET simulation. May uh, if you see this this example in. Uh, geometric uh, optics if we want to give the student the basic uh, on these courses student can use uh, this link directly uh, from uh, the platform to to do all that they need to do uh, about uh, about these activities maybe if he want to know uh, to understand more about uh, lens or mirror, they just click here and they can work on themselves to see how the different uh, image are from it uh, regarding to the lines of the focal lines uh, and some, something like this. And so the, diame the diameter of, uh, of the lines they can uh, also uh, see the different possibility. And so if they want also to, uh, to see how the different rays are diffused from uh, the object, uh, they can uh, know so many things. And this is very, 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 very interesting for, 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 for them uh, to use this, uh, this, uh, this possibility. And this, uh, this is just, uh, to 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 explain that it's we have two possibilities here uh, to have to 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 allow student to access uh, from the platform uh, to this simulate fetch simulations so we can just uh, uh, make a link or also embed uh, by using uh, the HTML uh, code here uh, easily so. We can uh, just have a tutorial to see how we uh, we use the family in our in our in our uh, courses. This is our platform. Yeah, this is our platform. Uh, you can see all the different courses and uh, uh, of the different level also they organize in the platform. If you want to 
and uh, in uh, in a courses we you just click on a courses which interest to you and you can go inside uh, maybe i can just uh, uh, give a look to an example yes okay here we can see the different possibility in our in our platform this is a tutorial you can uh, put uh, uh, the tutorial as a link uh, in the forum to, to 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 give the possibility to student uh, to extend the direct with the, the, the teachers uh, if we click on the student click on they have directly directly this uh, the stimulations and they can they can uh, work on and uh, in the mid in the in the in the same time uh, mention the equations uh, in the forum the other possibility is to to embed embed the, the simulation as you see here directly the video can be embedded uh, from uh, from fat uh, simulation website and you have uh, all the different uh, uh, courses here so this is the uh, this is uh, just uh, an example for the student in the first level uh, of uh, uh, of physics and chemistry we can also see that uh, it's possible to see even uh, for the student in uh, in the third level in the bs sign level because in my course uh, which enters to the the dynamic uh, uh, vibration uh, uh, systems the main problem is uh, how student can uh, understand the hooks law it's why i use the the firm simulation here to give them the possibility to understand uh, how uh, the different parameters can be uh, 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 variating and what they uh, practically uh, have if they send the different parameters maybe the spring constant of the uh, the, the, the spring constant is just we can just try to to change the number to 15 and to see also the applied force and to get all the different possibility and uh, values we the valid also uh, we need and it's very interesting and easy to use for the student and also uh, to the, the the teachers it's why we use in different and, and also in uh, our uh, in our uh, high school polytechnic high school they uh, use uh, so many uh, uh, FEM uh, simulations uh, in uh, in different departments uh, also. So this is the reason and how we use uh, the different uh, uh, activities of FET uh, in our in our. Uh, and it's not possible to uh, because the time is over uh, just so to see here the different uh, several scientific network uh, uh, we have uh, and this is uh, our invitation to the FET uh, communities to have a partnership with uh, our universities uh, and we are open uh, 
to have collaboration with all the different uh, network. Uh, thank you for your attention, and uh, I'm here for your for your question. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Professor Ali. Thank you for such an extensive, detailed um, insight into the amazing work um, at digitalizing learning in at the University of Dakar, or former University of Dakar, now the Sheikh. Did I get that wrong? Kanta Diop, yeah, I was trying to recall the name, so sorry. <laughs> The chair can't at your university. Thank you so much. I know the questions will start coming. Please, um, we'll we still have some. We have time to take the question. We still have about nine, eighteen minutes. So please keep them coming. There are a couple in the chat already, which I'm going to start addressing. You can use the question and answer feature so that we can take them at a time and then get across to all of them. Thank you so much again for the amazing presentation. I will start with the question from. And um, if you'd like to raise your virtual hand and ask directly also, please feel free to do that. We'll be happy to um, allow you on mute and then ask directly. Um, the first question is from Sebatana. Hi, Sebatana. It's great to see you. Thanks for joining today's conversation. And it says, how does... How do you see the relationship between self-directed learning and the use of FET simulation? FET direct, self-directed learning is more students taking responsibility for their learning. Mm -hmm. How how does that correlate with FET simulation? Is there, do you see any similarity or differences or synergy between self-directed learning, students taking responsibility or being able to lead their own learning and then the use of FET sims from your experience? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your questions. I see, uh, I think it's very important um, uh, to give the opportunity to students to be independent. Uh, so this is, uh, I mentioned it in, uh, in our curriculum, 50% uh, uh, around uh, 30 to 50% of the, the, the student workshop is uh, devoted to to uh, to student self uh, learning. It's why it's very important uh, to give the possibility to student to go uh, and find themselves uh, the different uh, possibilities to understand so many things and to learn themselves. Uh, but uh, the more important is uh, after they. Uh, they they do this uh, maybe uh, a tutorial or understand something. It's very important to come in the in the class and to share it uh, to, to 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 have experience from the others. And this is why uh, we we integrate uh, all these different uh, 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 resources in the forum. To, to give opportunities uh, to students uh, to be independent also to, to come to uh, share their experience. And I see it's very important to, uh, for students to, to be, um, uh, to have a self uh, learning uh, because at this time, uh, the availability of uh, the different research in uh, numerical research uh, is uh, is higher, and I think it's 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 very important. Great, thank you so much for your feedback. Um, another question is, perhaps I should ask. Um, so I'm not, I don't I don't answer for your behalf. Bona Chance is asking. Bona. I wonder, I wonder to know why the why this fet sim used. In this presentation translated in French, uh, really most countries use English as instructional language in their schools. Um, what's your experience using um, 
the, the resources in, in French. Um, or I don't know. I know you're I, I know you're also a translator and you're also working on on um, Wolof. Um, but yeah, any any thoughts? How well do you find those languages? Um, do you use it in English? Do you use it in French? Yeah, of course. Uh, 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 as you see in our universities, in our curricula, all the different level, English is integrated in STEM. It's why um, sometimes in different level, in uh, it's possible to to. Uh, uh, to do our courses in English uh, in the master level, uh, so that uh, French is our official language, and uh, it's why I explained that it's very important for us to integrate uh, our native language Wolof because uh, more than fifty eight percent speak Wolof. But French is our our teaching language. So in uh, in the evolution of uh, of the, of the world, I I think it's very important, and this is uh, uh, what we explain in our 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 student. It's very important uh, to 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 try to understand so many things in English because English is the the scientific language. It's why it's very important and. Uh, we accept uh, in our countries uh, uh, students uh, uh, go to try to find uh, resources in English and try to understand more about in French because French is limited. French is uh, only in Senegal, not uh, outside in Senegal. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Um, I, I, I like I like your take and point on that. So uh, there's only to go. What I what I would just had as well is, of course, FET is as as has been built to be able to support whatever language of instruction that is available. Like you mentioned, some institutions or schools teach the local language at the lower, um, lo as in at, at the primary and elementary level, and then you, the higher you go, you then find language of instruction in more standard and official languages that prepare you. For what, mm. just like you said, science is English is the is the language for for research and science. So FET resources are available in over a hundred and twenty one languages, um, yes. and more than fifteen of them are apart from English, French, Arabic. Some of which are some of the language of instruction of the continent. You'd find a lot of the native African languages as well. So um, please feel free to explore and check, and then of course uh, pass across to many who would find that useful for teaching. Um, there are many feedbacks. Lots of people are saying thank you. Nice presentation. I appreciate how the sim is being used in, in your university. Um, could you please demonstrate out here? Yeah, we'll come back to that, Asan. Um, I'll take Tabot's question now. Um, and it says, great presentation there, Prof. Um, I wish to know how well you link up the gap between the overcrowded classroom, which is the I teacher and student ratio you did part of the challenges you mentioned earlier was about the size of the size of the students compared to the available number of teachers and the mm -hmm. correct use of technological tools in the pedagogy by students since inad inadequate resources was a setback i'll take that again i wish to know how you link up what's the link between overcrowded classroom and the correct use of technological tools in pedagogy by students yeah, in, uh, it's why I uh, explained the vision of our university uh, uh, to develop digital technologies uh, because uh, uh, we have uh, over uh, the number of uh, of, of students uh, is a problem in our university. This is why we integrate in our policy that. Uh, the hybrid uh, uh, learning is now mandatory in our university. The, the student uh, uh, have the possibility to, to flow their courses online or uh, in person in presence. Well. It depends on, on the student. So uh, the main problem is, uh, uh, is um, 
uh, in the 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 the, the stem uh, the stem level uh, maybe in faculty or in our faculty of science the problem is the practical how is it possible to give the opportunity to students uh, to to do their course the practical courses in uh, on online and we are just trying to to, to 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 see the different possibilities and i don't want to give exactly um, uh, the investment we 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 uh, we try to uh, to do to to to, to settle the problem uh, because uh, it's not uh, on this time uh, uh, publish it uh, but we have we have uh, uh, a project to develop more technologies and uh, uh, to give the possibility to you to to, to student to uh, to to do at least two, uh, a total uh, online courses uh, if is it possible because the the main problem is the technologies and we try to get, it's why we have partnership with other structures which Google or something like this to give us these possibilities. This is our visions. Thank you so much. Um, particularly, please keep the questions coming. We still have some time to take them, but while we wait for questions to come through, uh, just a quick recap of some of the things that have basically stood out from me from your presentation. Um, I like the way you clearly articulated some of the problems faced in school from, of course, the over 90,000 students available to the teachers, to ensuring that they are engaged and then mm -hmm. building relevance where, of course, they are prepared for work and all of that. So it looks like you've spent a lot of time to identify the problem. And that was mm -hmm. like the first step in identifying um, some of the strategies you've put in place, which is going hybrid to be able to support that community. But what stood out for me, which I think many institutions have to learn a lot from, from your institution is the well thought out approach or solution to it for your digitalization. Many people have a digitalization strategy, but you started with governance. Um, so it's more like a decision from top to bottom. So basically mm -hmm. everyone is involved and you're driving it. How, how, how much of a challenge in for people, let me put it this way, for people who are considering um going digital as well. Um, of course, you've mentioned things around um, the governance, of course, evaluating and looking at the programs, optimizing dissemination, and then of course ensuring it's significant things around the research and then and the crux. But governance, I think, is that's the that, that was the first on your list. What's mm. what's what advice do you have for people thinking about building a governance structure for their digitalization strategy? I, I think I mentioned it in one of my slides uh, about the governance of uh, the digital technologies. This is the main yes. problems, and we have just to develop uh, uh, to develop uh, the policy. The problem is the policy of uh, of uh, the digital use, uh, because if our government uh, not to enter to the, te the digital technologies, it's a mind. It's, 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 this is the mind problems. This is why we try to see uh, how is it possible uh, to convince this uh, the government to 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 invest more about. Uh, um, digital technologies, uh, and the main problem is not the the the, uh, the equipment. The problem is uh, the main problem is the accessibility to the network connections. It's why, uh, if you see in one of my slide, uh, I show uh, 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 I show I show the application uh, mobile you see here. To give the possibility to to student to have access to the platform uh, anywhere in the in our countries, uh -huh. uh, this is this is this is this is very important uh, because also if you see my uh, my in my phone I have the 
I have the application developed by uh, our engineers uh, in UCAT, uh, which give me the possibility to, 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 to use any time uh, the platform and to, to extend with the student uh, and so something like this. But our means are, are limited and this is our, our, our fighting. Uh, with the new government, I think we have, uh, we hope uh, this problem will be uh, uh, solved. It. Okay. And it's not a problem, yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. There's so much, there's so much, there's so much to cover. But yeah, again, just as a reminder for those who are not a member or have not joined the community on Facebook, um, there's one more question we were able to take. But if you have questions, please feel free to look at or, or search for Fet Africa Educator on Facebook. There's a community or group there where, of course, everyone connects. You can ask questions or just stay up to date with events and activities. So I invite everyone to join if you're not there yet and feel free to engage with other members and fetch users on the continent. For our last question, before we just um, take our close, we want to respect everyone's time. And, which, and this is an interesting one, Prof. Hi, Prof. I want to know how much of the students are able to cope with the digital integration. What do you do to motivate them? Ah, <laughs> motivate them. Uh, just to explain. No, just the, the main problem is uh, uh, for the student. Uh, is the lack of information. We have just to show them uh, how is it possible to access to the resources, uh, but uh, their problem is the means. And uh, if the if the if the network is uh, is is very expensive for them to have a connection, it's a problem. Uh, how is it to make it free? It's very important. Uh, and so to reduce the number of 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 the large the large group we have it's why i explained that uh, in our university uh, the students are organized uh, in uh, uh, in groups uh, of uh, around 36 uh, students and it's very 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 uh, high if we go to 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 to, to reduce this number and uh, give the uh, and grow the 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 the, uh, the equipment. I think so we can overcome this problem and motivate uh, the student. Awesome! Thank you so much. We are at time now, so please, uh, we're able to take more questions. But yeah, I'll let you say a thing now. So if you again, um, yeah. So I'll let you take the final <laughs> one. Any other thing you want to add? Um, just before we start winding down no just just to just to to thank my mentor professor Sanjay, uh, who i uh, uh, summarized who developed for our ap applications i see him online uh, just to, to to greet him oh, okay great thank you professor um of course we look forward to having you in future conversations and yeah any way to collaborate and continue to support your digitalization drive as well please um, of course, we're here to support and get involved in that regard. Thanks again, everyone, um, for joining today's edition. Again, we hope that you join us next month. Just before we leave, if if there's anything that, again, as we close is, I, 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 I'll end on, on this note. Students don't have an interest problem. They have an access problem. So if we're able to ensure we address how they access the right information, that those are seeds to drive engagement and interest. But often, I perhaps focus too much on 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 engagement, and we 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 do not address where the point, where the pain, yeah. or where the problem really exists the most. So let's focus on addressing access. Um, are there devices, internet? Ensure they have access to the information. Eliminate those barriers, and we can achieve the engagement and interest that we want to see in, in students. So thanks again for joining. Um, we look forward to seeing you next month. Um, bye for now. Thank you, Bye. Professor. Um, I'll be in touch again. Thank you. No problem. Bye, everyone. Okay, thank you. Bye.